How's it going guys and welcome to another Creativeverse Machines tutorial video. Here we're going to be talking about how to make a small circuit called an SR latch which is essentially an alternative to the T flip flop which does logically almost precisely the same thing but at least currently in Creativeverse it's a lot more stable when you're working with a lot of machines at once. I myself have found that T flip flops don't work very well in large machines because they sometimes react on a delay and other times just don't react at all. So um, Saraneth, a brilliant um, Creativeverse YouTuber, uh, showed me this uh, little circuit as a way to help me get around a problem I had with an ice rail and so I thought it was good enough um, that I wanted to do a tutorial on it to show you guys how it works. So what we have is two pistons, or sorry, pressure plates, attaching to two logic gates, which then attach to each other and to these lights. The idea being that if I step on this pressure plate, this light will open, will turn on, and that one will turn off. And if I step on this pressure plate, that light will turn on, and that one will turn off. So that only one can be on at once. And this is very useful in a lot of different systems. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go over to our logic gates, make sure they're bo both set to NOR, which means that they'll only output true if they're receiving no true inputs, if both their inputs are false. Um, so once we've got both of them saying that, we want to connect them to each other. So we want to connect the output of one to the input of the other and vice versa. Now what this means is that if one of them is outputting a true signal, it will send the true signal to one of the to the other, meaning that that one can't send a true signal out. So basically, only one can be turned on at once. Then we attach um, these pistons to the ones in question here. Whoops! I actually connected this one to the wrong one. Bear with me just for a moment. I just have to break this link. They need to be attached to the opposite. Um, logic gate because the idea is that I send this true signal to this guy which make forces this guy to turn off which forces this guy to turn on which then lights up the light so it doesn't actually matter that it's in this pattern I just find this particular pattern easy to memorize it going opposite and then over you could have it in any other configuration it honestly wouldn't actually make it not work as so long as you connected everything to the right <laughs> blocks of course now we want to connect this output to this light and this output to this light. And I've set one to be red and one to be blue. And we go on. Whoops, and that one's... Okay, yeah, see, I, I'd stepped on that pressure plate before and that had caused there to be a previous error state in the system. So we just had to step on this one again. So if I step on this one, this one is red. I go over here. That one turns off and the other one comes on as blue. So there we have it. That is the... SR latch which is an alternative to the T flip flop and as you can see it's very quick and perfectly stable I've not had a single problem with it so far so if you're using if you're building larger machines and you're having trouble with the T flip flop not quite functioning as you want it to then this circuit is the one you want to use Okay, guys, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pop over there and show you how I've used it. So I will be back in a moment. Okay, guys, here we are at the top of my cavern ice rail. Now, the idea behind this was that it's a two-way ice rail, one going down and one going up. And at the corners, um, the bands for one of the directions will actually have to cross over the other rail in their direction of push. And that would mean that if the fans for the opposite direction were turned on and I tried to go down, I'd actually be blocked by those other fans from progressing. So I had to have a system whereby one line turned off when the other one turned on. And that's what this SR latch became, was perfect for. I tried using the T flip flop block supplied in the game and it just wasn't working quite properly. About 80% of the time it was working fine, but the other times it just wouldn't turn on properly or would sometimes weirdly only turn on half the things it was connected to. It was very strange and I could never quite figure out why it wasn't working. But then Sarah enough showed me this um, circuit and it turned out to be perfect for it. So let's just show 
I shoot down. Um, and you can see all these fans turned on, pushing me as I go down. And uh, the, if there's a, every corner, there's a fan that would block me coming back up if this circuit wouldn't turn it off as I come back up right now. So you can see as I come up here, there are actually fans down there on the sides. Um, it's kind of difficult to see because I'm moving so quickly, but there are... At every corner, there's a fan at the side which would actually block my progress completely if I couldn't get the other side to turn off. So, yeah, that is one of the applications the SR latch is useful for. It's the only one I've actually used it for myself, but I'm sure that a lot of you more advanced kind of machine users out there will find purposes for it, especially if you've been having trouble with the flip-flop blocks already. And I know a lot of people have been having bugs with various things with machines in Creative Earth. So, every, every gun, I hope this... Uh, circuit is useful for you. Also, if you want to check out Sarnoff's channel, please do. I'll leave a link to her channel in the description. She does a lot of very detailed guides on things like this and other aspects of machines in Creative. So I really recommend you check her out if you want some more in-depth uh, kind of explanations of how machines in Creative work. Anyway, guys, I really hope you've enjoyed the video and you find it useful. And I will see you next time. See you later, guys.